Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I just had my first night of Hanukkah last night, and I gave my daughter-in-law's dish towels, embroidered dish towels, that were a great hit. So I thought I would share this with you. Now, what I did is I was coming through the airport and saw some real fun sayings and decided to embroider them on cup towels. I purchased them from All About Blanks, and they make wonderful gifts. And with the holiday season coming up, let's get started. Now, the first thing I do is I create a boundary for the lettering to go in. Now, this can be this boundary. You can actually turn it into stitches, or it can just be a visual. So let's start. I'm going to come up to my artwork tool. I'm going to left mouse click, and I'm going to select the rectangle. Now, this is stuck to my cursor. I'm going to hold down my left mouse key and drag. Once this is here, I'm going to transform it. Now what I did is I measured the space available on the towel to embroider in. So I don't want to go out that outside of that space and have to figure out what I'm going to do later. So I always create a visual boundary for my design. So I'm going to deselect maintain aspect ratio. I've selected transform. Now I have 6 inches, 6.5 inches wide, and I've got about 10 inches long to embroider in. And that leaves me a little space around the edge, makes it an inch up from the border, and it gives me a nice clean edge on each side, and it doesn't go over where I'm going to fold the towel, say, over the handle of the stove. So now when I apply, I am going to fit this to screen. Now normally I would leave this just as a visual to use and not do anything else. But what I did on the girls towels is I made this like a pretty border and then put their sayings inside it. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We are going to come down to our bottom left to our one click wonders and I'm going to go to my Run Motif and left mouse click. Now once I select that, notice of course everything I can do to that came up in my properties box. So I'm going to find a cute little border and I didn't use any big heavy borders. I just wanted a light fun border. Um, let's try this one. 263 is what I'm going to try for this. Now the stitch length is 4 is fine but I want some space between each of these. So I'm going to put two millimeters of space and apply. So there's a cute little run stitch border around my towel. Of course I can select the color by with this being selected. Pick any color on my bar down here. I could scroll through. Now I'm going to assume you're doing Christmas towels. So I have, I'm just going to come here and type in 192. It's one of my favorite reds. So I'm going to select that and now I have turned this little border into a cute little red border. Now to add the text. Now what I did is I went on to a couple of websites and put in funny towel sayings, funny kitchen sayings, that type thing, and found me some cute stuff. But the first one I did was for one of my daughter-in-laws that's a teacher. So I came up to my favorite little folder here, which is my custom shapes, left mouse clicked and I picked the apple. So I'm going to select this apple shape and it came up here and I'm going to move it up kind of to the top of my towel and this shape if I want to know what size it is with just the shape itself selected let's go to transform and this is about a 3 by 3 so I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little smaller. I want it through, oops I didn't say maintain aspect ratio, so let's click off of that. Let's reselect it, transform, with maintain aspect ratio selected. I want this to be three inches tall, because I want to leave room for my lettering. And I'm going to come and apply. So now I have this wonderful vector artwork shape. So I'm just going to turn this like red work. I'm going to come down, and I'm going to select my run stitch. Left mouse click on it and I'm going to turn this into a run and of course the minute it does that it brings up everything I can do I'm going to go ahead and just make it a double run 
I want my stitch length a little longer, so I'm going to make it about a three. And I'm going to apply. So now with that done, we're going to come and we're going to add lettering. So I'm going to come up to my text. I'm going to select just regular text. And with this A stuck to my cursor, I know I've got it. I'm just going to left mouse click on screen. And I'm going to come in here and type in you cannot, whoops, cannot scare me. I'm going to put me here. I am a teacher. Now I'm going to have that centered. And I'm going to come in and look around and try some different texts. So you can go through and you can look around and you can kind of um, what I like to call ad addition different texts. You can look at stuff and see if you like it. And I'm going to look for a, let's see, what is coiled? I think I'm going to try coiled for this. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave it at its default size right now at height. And I am going to apply. Now once it comes in, I can decide what I want to do. Well, I don't like the way this looks, so I can come in and say, you know what, I think I want to put, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you cannot, and then I'm going to bring scare me down. Let's apply that. So see, you get to audition it. So I can see where I like it. I can place this in here. Now what I'm going to do is with my text here, I am going to come up to my upper tool on my left hand toolbar and I'm going to select the text. Now it doesn't have any of the control points so it's just selected as if it were a design. Holding down your control key, I'm also going to select my border. Now I'm going to come to my alignment tools we have our nice alignment tools right here. And I'm going to say the very last one is center, center. I want to center the text within my border. OK, so now I've got it centered. Now what I want to do is obviously I don't want it over my apple, but I did want that text centered. So now I can hold down my control key. Oh, yeah, I don't think you have to hold it down. I'm sorry, I'm on a Mac. I can just come in here and I can move my text down using my arrow keys and I know it has stayed centered and I can put that right in there so now I can come in here and grab this and I'm going to go ahead and change it to the same red I'm going to take my apple and also make it the same red now I've got a cute little cup towel design to go ahead and put on my daughter-in-law's cup towels. Now you can have a lot of fun with this. I'll just give you a brief little goodie. Here's one that I did. I'm just going to open a couple of these so you can see them. I thought they were hilarious. And this one came from, I think I saw it in the window at the Seattle airport. And for some reason my opening is, t is my computer's moving slow. Calories, tiny creatures that live in your closet and sew your clothes a bit tighter every night. I love Jim and John here. You'll love this one. Let's open this guy. This is a real cute one. Instead of the John, I call my bathroom Jim. That way it sounds better when I say I go to the gym every morning. So you can find all kinds of fun, cute sayings. These make wonderful gifts. I know that you'll enjoy these. I'll show you one more. I have a daughter-in-law that loves shoes. She just is a shoe horse. So Cinderella is proof that a new pair of shoes can change your life. Now notice, every one of these has a different text, a different border. I may have made the, the font a different size, but you can go through and have a whole lot of fun with this and just replace the text and change the border, replace the text and change the border. I did 15 of these cup towels in an evening. 
So you can see how easy this is. And just as a bonus, how would we stabilize these? I would take my cup towel, and I'm assuming you're using a cotton towel. And like I say again, I bought mine at All About Blanks. They have a cute little plaid border across the bottom. You can buy them by the dozen. I would take Stitch and Wash Fusible, iron it onto the back, and hoop this. Now, you could also stick it down to perfect stick if you don't want to hoop it. But of course, a Stitch and Wash Fusible is a little less costly for you. Um, as long as you can hoop it, you can iron that on. But if not, you're going to use a perfect stick, hoop that, peel the paper away, and stick it down. Now when it comes time to take that off, you will just dampen, dampen, dampen either one of them, stitch and wash or perfect stick. You're not wetting your towel. You're merely dampening your stabilizer. Give it 10 seconds and it will pull away very easily from around your lettering. But what needs to remain underneath will. Don't forget to use a topper. I use, I always use um, my water soluble topper on top of these towels and you cannot believe what fun gifts they were and I can't tell you what a hit they were last night. So I hope you all have a great holiday season and next week we'll come up with another quick idea for quick gifts. Have a good week. Bye bye.